Hello students, the question is In the given diagram considering an ideal diode, in which condition will the bulb glow? Option A, when the switch is open. Option B, when the switch is closed. Justify your answer. So the problem is based on the topic diode and in particular the use of the diode in a particular circuit. And uh, the diode given here is the ideal diode. Ideal diode means a diode when forward bias, suppose it is forward bias and the diode is ideal, it works as a short circuit, means a wire having a zero resistance, whereas in the reverse bias, suppose the bias is reverse, or suppose like this, the, the bias is reverse, then it acts as an open circuit. Open circuit means a broken wire, it behaves as a broken wire. Now in this particular case, the diode is connected in such a manner that uh, there is a series switch there is a switch in series it so in this particular circuit there is a switch in series with the diode now the question is what happened when the switch is open the first part when the switch is open this particular switch is open switch is open what happened so when the switch is open from the battery the current goes through this particular lamp the current will not go into this particular path because it's the open circuit path switch is open all the current goes to the bulb. So we can say that bulb will glow. Bulb will glow. And we have to write down the justification also. So the reason is, the reason is diode is off. Diode is off and the current goes through the bulb. So this is the particular reason for the part A that the bulb will glow. And in part D, when the switch is closed, when the switch is closed, there are two parallel paths. First path is having the diode and second path is having the bulb. So as I have said, when the diode is forward bias, because you can easily see that this is the positive terminal, it is connected uh, to the anode side. So it means that it is making the diode in the forward bias. So when it is forward bias, it is a short circuit. And the situation is something like this. There is a bulb. There is a bulb. And in this particular bulb, in a parallel path, there is a short circuit. So when there is a short circuit, all the current will pass through this particular short circuit. No current will pass through this particular bulb. The bulb will not glow. So we can say that bulb will not glow. And the reason is the current chooses the current chooses the minimum resistance path minimum resistance path and the minimum resistance path corresponds to the short circuited diode so in this particular case the bulb will not glow so this is the explanation and the solution of this problem that in the first case the bulb will glow and in the second case the bulb will not glow in the first case the switch is open in the second case the switch is closed so this is the explanation of this particular problem. Hope you understand the solution. Thank you.